Okay. Good enough. <sighs> this is gonna be a disaster. Hello, Flossy friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michaela and I am at MCD Stitches and I'm also the same on Instagram. And this is my channel where I talk about anything and everything cross stitch. So any new projects I'm gonna work on, any current projects I'm working on, any hauls I do, any tips and tricks I learn, I share with you guys. First things first, 59 subscribers. Are you guys crazy? I can't believe there's 59 of you who subscribed and actually wanna listen and watch me ramble on this hot mess disaster that I put on. <laughs> Thank you to all 59 of you. I can't believe I'm at 59 after like a month. Um, I didn't even think I was gonna get five subscribers and I have 59, so. I look like a hot mess right now, but like n there's no makeup. I didn't do my hair. And this is not, we're not looking cute. But you know why? <laughs> it's like a hundred degrees today. The car was reading a hundred and three degrees. I think it's right now, I think it's about six o'clock and it's 95. So I'm not, I don't, I'm not gonna put on a full face of makeup in this type of weather. I'm not gonna do my hair all cute. Nope, mm-mm. I'm gonna be in a pool or in an AC house in something light and throw my hair up and I'm putting sunscreen on. That's it. It's been a hot minute since I've made a video. I think it's been three weeks and I said I would make one in two weeks. Well, we're here now, so. Um, well, let's give you a little update. What has happened in these three weeks? I cut my hair. I know you can't really tell cause it's all up there, but um, I had really long hair. It was down to my buttocks. And I think the last time I got it cut was like 2019. Yeah, a long time. It was so heavy. It was unmanageable. It was so dead. There was no life to it anymore so i got a cut not as short as i wanted it to be i wanted to go a little a little shorter but maybe at the end of the year i'll do like a big chop it needs a big chop but this is good for now it's so much lighter so much lighter and it's just easier to manage so that happened and what else happened? Well, it's summer. It's officially summer, which might be why it's been three weeks without a video, but I just, I wish, okay. I wish there was a good reason for me to tell you guys why I haven't made a video in three weeks but I've just been having fun. Like, I've just been living. Like, places are open now. My pool's open. My nephew's out of school. And I get to see him and my other nephew more. They come over and I get to see them and they sleep over and we have family time on the week. It's just a lot going on, lot good stuff going on, 
a lot of family stuff that we didn't get to do for a whole year basically so that is why i've kind of been able i've been working out i work out five times a week i work out five times a week and i'm on this weight gain journey um because I've, I've always been really small really skinny can never gain weight and i was just tired of like clothes not fitting me right and just being that small tiny skinny girl so i was like you know what i'm gonna change i'm gonna start this healthy weight gain journey and i am almost up 10 pounds in two months and i'm getting so much strength and muscle and it's just i'm, I'm just loving it like this was the best lifestyle change that i've ever made so I did a haul, haul, because I bought one thing, but it's a fun thing. And it, it cost a lot, a lot uh, for one thing, but it literally, where was this all my life? Okay, but we'll get into it. So we're gonna talk about that. And then I'll share with you guys all my June whip updates in the three weeks that I've been gone did I finish anything? Did I reach any of my goals? If you follow me on Instagram, you will know already what these look like because I share every day or every two days what I'm working on and what I did for that day. And then we'll talk about what I'm going to do in July. Do I have any plans for July? I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> So for the haul, you guys, I got a Z frame. Okay, this looks kind of crazy, but a Z frame, I've been kind of seeing more lap frames being used on my feed. And I was like, I feel like that would make that would make stitching a little easier because okay before I bought this this is how before I got that this is how I would stitch I would sit and I would have my two knees up like on the sofa and I'll place whatever whatever I'm stitching on my knees and stitch that way and it was it worked it has been working but it's not, I just feel like I'm squishing my whole abdomen all the time. So I was kind of tired of doing that. And I was like, this looks like it would be so much easier. So I bought this, I, I got my notes here. I bought this on Etsy. It's called a Z frame. So it's called K's, like the letter, creations z frame lap frame and it holds q snaps stretcher bars and scroll frames up to 22 inches and i paid 71 dollars it was 25 percent off it's originally like 90 91 something like that so i got it for 25 percent off and it took about two weeks to ship and like one week to get to my house so about three weeks for me to like actually get it which was fine i'm not like i need it like right now so it took about three weeks and it didn't come like this well obviously <laughs> but like all these parts were like separate like not separate like i had to buy them separately but they were off in the box like I had to put this together I wish I wish I made a video of me trying to put this together because I had no clue they give you instructions they do give you instructions I mean if you're a normal well together person you probably could put this together in like five ten minutes took me like 30 to 40 minutes I don't know why but 
I couldn't be Bob the Builder for some reason. I was trying to, but it was not working. But I ended up putting it together, which, okay. I put it together proud because I was like struggling. Um, so it's called a Z frame because I forget how to use this. <laughs> okay so these two knobs this one and this one when you loosen it it you can move to wherever you want it would be easier to show you guys if I put a Q snap in here but I don't have one right now so that knob moves this, okay? And then this knob moves this one. So you can like really get your, oh, no, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you can get your Q-snap like to exactly where you want it comfortably on your lap so you're not like how i was and this is like good stuff this is good stuff so i was a little not like skeptical but like i was like is that really gonna hold my Q snap with all the fabric and the grime guard and like like that's it's not heavy but like that, that's a lot how's that how is this gonna hold that it does not move it sits on my lap stays in there get it all tightened up it does not move buy this buy this best thing i've ever bought Okay, so that was my haul. So now let's talk about my June whip updates. So some of these I'm super excited to talk to you about and show you guys what I've done. And others, it's like, I didn't even work on them. But that's okay. That's okay. All right. First, let's talk about my Haid, the Nativity. Now, my goal for June, I'm going to put what each whip looked like last video. Okay. Ow. So, for my Nativity... My haid. My goal was to finish the page. Yay! Yeah! You guys, I did it. I finished it today. Um, so I was so excited. You know, like, okay, so I was like by the lamb's face and i just got like a rush you know when you're like almost done with a page and you just like you go into like x memo you're like i'm finishing this page like this is all i'm gonna do so i worked on this when i got like there down and i was like rush like a massive rush to work on this <laughs> And I finished it today, a day early from my goal, I guess, because today's June 29th and tomorrow's June 30th, which is the last day. So a day early, which is perfect and fine by me. So I actually enjoyed this page. Um, not like other pages, like it wasn't really like, the palette was kind of boring-ish. Like after Mary, it was just brown, orange, yellow, brown, 
black. I was like, oh, give me a color. A white, it was a lot of whites and yellows. But I noticed that from here in the next row, it's like mainly darker colors because it's like the bottom of the <laughs> scene. So there's gonna be a lot of browns and blacks and yellows coming up, but that's fine. I think the next page, uh, next page is like the um, Joseph and then baby Jesus's face. So that's exciting. So you already know my, my goal for July is to finish the next page. Maybe I can do it. I should be able to do it, but we'll see. My needle minder is from caffeinated craft, <laughs> caffeinated cat crafts. And my grime guard is from crab shack stitchery. God, why was that so hard? But anyway, I love this piece. It's coming out so good. I'll probably put a full, let me put this down. I'll put the full piece of what it looks like here so you guys can see like the whole thing. Um, so yeah, that's my hate. It's been, it's been two years, two and a half years. Yeah, two and a half years of me working on this. So it's coming along, it's coming along, but I love every stitch. I loved every page. It's just such a joy to work on. I'm so excited to start the new page. I always get a rush when I'm starting a new page because it's almost like starting a new project. And when I'm like, 80% done with a page. You know, you have that last like 20% like little teeny corner to do or however, I don't know, I stitch diagonally, so it goes in diagonals. So I have like the, the last corner to do and I'm like, stitch it, stitch it, <laughs> get it done. But we love her, we're so excited I did it. My feet hurt. Ow. Ow. My hamstrings hurt too. I overworked them when I worked out last weekend and they still hurt. Here's a mess. Again, whatever. All right. Next whip is the forest animal whip that I have going on. And last. I showed you I was working on the chipmunk and I think I had like the head and the body I don't know I'm gonna put it here because I really don't remember and I think I worked on him two out of the four days that I planned to work on and my goal was to finish him. And I didn't finish him. But he's almost done. Okay, he's almost done. I have one more color to do and just a little back stitching. So it's not like I didn't do a lot because I basically finished him. Okay, let's show you. This is little guy and he's basically almost done. Like he's there, you can see him. It's not like he's not there. Like if I just did that, then I'd be like, okay, like you really didn't do him. But that's pretty good for only two days. So I only have like, um. I think there's like green grass over here, a little up top, and then he has like some back stitching in his face. But I'm sure I can do that in like a day if I really set out the time to do it. It's just, 
you know, summer, guys. Summer. It's a distraction for me. Clearly. I'll finish him soon. Hopefully. Yeah. But let me show you the whole piece. So May, I did the deer. And June was going to be the chipmunk. Which I guess I could... If I was going to start my nativity, but I guess I could finish the chipmunk on the last day of June. So then I officially kind of meet my goal. Idea? Yes. Okay. So this is what it looks like as a whole. So the deer, she's cute. And then the chipmunk. And these are going to be stockings. So let me show you. This is a Janlin kit and it's from 1993. So she's a little old, but still kicking. So this is what it's gonna look like all done. Like there's supposed to be separate stockings, but I don't know if I wanna do that. I don't know if I want to cut each one and frame it in a little hoop individually or frame this as like one whole piece with all the animals. I don't know yet, but the chipmunk will get done by like July 2nd. I plan it. I think I'll work on this tomorrow actually. Just cause you know, I'm so close to it. Just finish it, girl. Finish, finish him like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> so next whip update is my dollhouse tea party one. And now my goal for this one was to finish the page, which was pretty unrealistic because to finish a page in four days is like, I already knew that was probably most likely not gonna happen, which was fine. I just, but I just put the goal out there just to add one. So no, I did not finish the page, but I think I got a good amount of progress done for, I think I worked on this three days out of the four I planned to do. And I, um, when I first, last video when I showed you guys, I was just starting to work on the tree. And I think, I think pretty good progress. I don't know, I'm gonna show you guys right now. Pretty good. So I'm gonna just gonna fold it in half because this was the section that I was working on. So this is the section I was working on and I think I was like somewhere over here working on the tree. This plant, it took me like five days to finish this plant. It was so, I don't know why it was taking forever, but it did. And then I finally finished the plan and I started working on the like cabinet and the, the doll face. Now this doll face, when I did it, it was like eight, nine in the morning. So I stitched the doll face and then I look back at it and I'm like, it does not look right. Like something is not right. So I like triple quadruple milli time check the chart with the color and the number and the whatever and it, i was using the right colors and whatever but it didn't like from afar she looks fine she looks good right but close up you can't tell me that looks okay she looks scary she looks freaky so i was like i was so <laughs> scared that I messed up and I was literally like I was like I definitely made a mistake like there's no way this is right but it's right I mean I'm sure with back stitching it makes it look better right now there's no back stitching so she looks scary 
but I'm this is how it's supposed to look so so that's not bad for three days of work I don't think so so will I work on this in July I might I don't know I was kind of like <laughs> I was so annoyed with their face that I was like I don't even want to like pick it up anymore because so I was like I messed up I messed up I messed up but we'll see I don't know maybe I'll finish her dress in July I don't know oh yeah so that's that. All right, my last whip to update you guys on today is my Dogs of Disney Sal, which I am loving, you guys. It's, this is like, this is my first Sal, and I'm a Disney crazy person. So I was like, I'm in, I need to do this. And five dogs in, I'm like obsessed. Like, this is the best thing ever. So it started June 7th. And two dogs are released each week. It's by Abby Sue Designs. You can find her on Facebook, Instagram, Etsy. I'll link everything below. And this Sal has a Facebook group, which is amazing. The people in it are so creative. They're so helpful. People are doing like their own versions of like um, borders. They're doing... Um, they're like adding things to the to the, each dog to make it like personalized or more like how um it's in the movie it's just so cute what these people are doing so i'm gonna share with you what i have so far it is so cute how cute is this like are you kidding Okay, excuse all the wrinkles and the creases and whatever else is messed up because it's rolled up in my Q-snap for a while, but there's Stitch. Super cute. Lady. Tramp. Percy from Pocahontas. And Alabrije Dante. They're so cute. I love this. My favorite dog would be Lady because Lady and the Tramp is my all time favorite movie. And she just came out so good. And Dante because, are you kidding? That is just so good. He came out really good. I love the way he looks. But this, okay. I'm two dogs behind on this because I was so caught up in finishing my page on my Hade that I was like, I can't work on anything else. I need to get this page done. So I'm two dogs behind. Nana from Peter Pan got released and Bolt got released last week. So I'll eventually get caught up and get those two dogs done but I'm just loving this. So five dogs down, 15 to go. So this ends in like the middle of August. And then after this ends, I'm hoping maybe to start another Sal, but I, I mean, I don't know which one I'm gonna work on, but I want it to be like a Halloween Sal, which is kind of specific, but hopefully someone will release a Halloween Sal like August, September, maybe. I don't know, but that would be so fun. I hope, I hope someone does, but. So my July plans would probably be to finish the next page on my Haid, which I think is pretty reasonable. And I'll obviously continue to work on, I think there's gonna be nine dogs in total in July released. So this will have another nine dogs by the end of July. 
but I'll be back in two weeks to update you guys. So those two whips I'll work on. I don't know if I'm going to work on my animal one and my dollhouse one. I'm not sure. I don't want to say I'm going to and then not. So I think I'm just gonna go with the flow in July and uh, in addition to these two. So like whatever I'm feeling that day, if I want a small project, like if my brain is like, and I can only handle a small project, I'll just pick up a small one. If I'm like, really like, I want a cross stitch today and that's it, I'll work on like something else, you know, it's just whatever I'm feeling, going with the flow for July. <laughs> and I think that's a good plan. I mean, June, I was so like, I want to work on this, 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 on this day, this day, this day. And like, it worked out for a bit, but like plans got in the way and like some days I didn't feel good. And you know, you can't predict everything. So I think just going with the flow and having a general idea of what you want to do for the month is good. And it works out better than, you know, what I did for June because that did not work out. But hey, whatever. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. I know it was a hot, hot, hot mess. Emphasis on hot because it's 100 degrees outside. But I hope um, my whips updates were good and you liked them and I made progress. And let me know which whip is your favorite. Let me know if you like the sal. Um, let me know if you have a Z-frame or want to get a Z-frame or if you have questions about the Z-frame, I will answer them. I love that. I love that. If you want to see my daily updates on Instagram, you can follow me at MCD Stitches, and you will see before I post on here, however long <laughs> that may be. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.